bro, bro, you know, bro, I, I just didn't, I didn't mean to do it, bro. Like, bro, my Evo people and my black people, bro. Like, you know. What's going on, y'all? Grind on one of it. Back in this thing again, man, with another video. And uh, first off, I wanted to just uh, send my appreciations out to everybody who subscribed recently and has been watching the videos and commenting and uh, leaving positive things here and there. I appreciate y'all. Even the haters, I appreciate y'all, too, for getting the algorithm together. And it's, it's pretty funny seeing y'all trying y'all's best to, to roast me and uh, do all this stuff over the internet. Like, who cares? Like, bro, like, I looked at your, your Instagram and you're fat as a bitch. What are we saying? But, uh, yeah, man, um, and also, I'm not going to keep on talking about the fresh and fit thing, but I got, like, a, two, a couple, two, three more videos I want to want to get out about it and be done with it, depending on how it goes. But, yeah, I'm going I'm to try to, uh, you know, stop talking about it. But this video right here has something to do with it. It's basically the guy who went after that lady, Anna Quinn. He came back and I guess he, he apologized to her. I checked it out on a couple people's uh, videos. And uh, that, you know, it was like real short and abrupt. And, I, and then people were in the comments like, bro, that wasn't even a whole apology. And that shit was kind of half-assed. So then I went and looked at it here on uh, Duke and Don. Shout out to them. And shout out to my boy Rob. They all did a, a little live stream together. And I wasn't really messing with the, with the apology, man. So I wanted to see what y'all thought as well. And uh, maybe y'all can come back and see if this apology actually makes sense or was I bugging. You know, let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, real, real quick, guys. Yeah, this is 360. Hey, man, look, appreciate you showing up. Seriously. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you of for course. giving me the opportunity to clear my name on your platform. Uh, to Anna, I'm so sorry about what I said. Um, I had no uh, business coming to your uh, DMs. But... Um, I want to say uh, what I said on the podcast before on the last time was uh, what I did was absolutely immoral. And um, yeah, uh, to any dude out there, you shouldn't be out there doing um, doing that specific thing because I had a lot of people coming into my DMs from uh, from uh, what's it, what's his name? Uh, Abner Preach as well as uh, your uh, podcast doing the same thing to me. So it, it, it's crazy and it's, it's dead. It's dead wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I just want that to be out there for the record. I'm so sorry, 100% uh, sorry, and um, I just want to clear my name from that. But yeah, God bless you guys, and have a good day, man. All of y'all. Oh, 360, 360. Oh. All right, man. So <laughs> he, he, he said, you know, he got out that thing fast, but man, right there, that was a good apology. I thought that was straight right there. He, he said, I'm sorry for what I did. What I did was out of pocket. How I acted on the last podcast was out of pocket, and all this kind of stuff. And that was solid. That was solid. But let's go on and get to this next little portion. No, I think that, oh, he's gone. I really wanted to apologize um, to, to all the black people. Um, for me, I'm so, uh, to all the black people in the chat, all the black people around the world that seen what I said, that, is, um, that was what I said. That's not what black people said. That's not um, how I want black people to be portrayed. Uh, I was a little bit tipsy the day that I did that, and I was just talking off my ass. That is not how black people are. I, I don't think that being tipsy would have you saying what you said. I don't think you're tipsy is not going to have you out your mind, is it? Let me know. I don't drink, but I, from what I know, what I've gathered over my years of living, tipsy is not going to have you out your mind to the point where you geeked out and you can't even say what you, what you want to say on a regular. I could see if he was dead drunk, but tipsy? I don't know. I'm going to be able to get that one, boy. Let's go. A lot of black people around the world that don't act like that in any way, shape, or form. Me, personally, I've had a lot of things. I, I'm a college grad. I got my Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Healthcare Administration, and I have multiple tertiary degrees and licenses, and that is no way that I want black people to be portrayed in any way, shape, or form. Secondly, um, I want to say something in regards to... Um, yeah, yeah. I've had many um, 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 doors shut in my face because people looking at black people and how we behave and, and displaying behavior like I previously did. And I want to come in here and correct that because um, I, I know what it means to have doors shut in my face because of something another black person did. And I don't oh want to be God. that. 
to, to come on this platform and do that. So I heard what you guys said, Duke and Don, I'm crazy and all that. And I have no, I understand where you're coming from, but I assure you, I'm a, um, a taxpaying citizen. I'm out here grinding, educating myself every day. I have multiple licenses and I'm not here to boast. I'm not here to pride, but I just want to know you guys know the caliber of person I am. And then I want to apologize to my Evo people, my Nigerian people that heard this. Um, I am so sorry, so, so sorry from the bottom of my heart. Um, my culture, yeah. my culture is everything to me. I was raised, I'm a son of my culture. All right, bro. This is where he started to do too much. Just like, yeah, you apologize to her. And that's really the main thing. Um, as far as all the black people and all the Nigerian people and all that, I don't think that, that they're all sitting up looking at you like, bro, you, you got us looking bad. It's maybe a couple, two, three, but ain't nobody really care about it. We just think you're just an idiot. We, just th we thought you were an idiot. I'm sorry. So I don't really agree with that. What do y'all think? I think it's it's no need to start bringing in all the uh, the, the African American and the Nigerian Igbo people into this and everything like that. That's you on your own, bro. That has nothing to do with everybody else. That has nothing to do with us. If you want to be real, but let's just keep going. And I did one thing. I I pray to God that you guys don't um take that on my race or my culture back home. Nah, um, that, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 fact, the fact that you're here, 360, the fact that you're here on a panel with the woman that you sent that message to, to her face, dude, this is instantly increase. You don't understand that this increases that respect factor. Like, seriously, this is a good thing that you did. Now, Allende, I mean, and I'm sure Anna really has some questions. Really about, it's really not about me, it's more so about, um, I just, I have a, I love black people all around the world. I preach unity. And I always, uh, if you see me on the first prop podcast that I came through on, I pre preach unity. I wanted, I went pre uh, preaching um, uh, um, fresh and fit to cancel that stuff because I love to see black people prosper. I can never be a part of any message that deteriorates or disintegrates black people because I know how tough that we already have it right now because I've had doors shut in my face where I could have had good jobs. That's the reason why I went into the trucking business and went and had my truck so I wouldn't have to uh, have all this problem. So I'm so sorry for what I said. And um, I just hope y'all could give me um, uh, Hey, let, let me tell you something. You mentioned something. You mentioned something, 360. I want. I just want to clarify that. The, the fans, like, literally, the audience don't think. Like, when you came on, the reason why it was so crazy, because you look like a clean-cut dude, bro. That's the thing. So when when they see a clean-cut African-American man, that, that is, obviously you're doing, doing what you got to do. You're handling your business. And then they see the contradiction of what you did, and it, that's what blew their mind. But a lot of the messages that I read, people were like, yo, like, pray for this man. We want to figure out what the heck is going on. Like, what would you yeah, that mentality? I'm 100% good. But, well, okay. but I, I know they have some questions to ask you. Oh, yeah, let me just finish off. I just want to talk to uh, my Igbo people. I'm a man of my culture. I'm a man of my faith. And Ndibo Kwenu, Awumwe Igbo, Pikonu, Abnunu, Ahabe Nobunu. Miko, forgive me, bro. I am so 100% sorry, bro. I'm culture. I'm a woman. I like that. All right, bro. bro. Okay, bro. All right, man. Shout out to all the Nigerian Evo people and all that kind of stuff, man. But uh, as far as this apology goes, man, I don't, I think it, it first it started more, it was about her. And, and cool stuff for even getting back on the show and everything like that. But it then became more about him and his redemption arc. And I think partly... The only reason that he apologized in the first place was because folks were coming down on him in the DMs. Like, after they saw what he did to Anna Quinn, then they started coming in and crushing him. He probably couldn't take the daily crushes, the daily, daily, daily crushes. Because I even went and crushed him. I'm not going to lie. I went and crushed him on his picture one time and just talking about how he was lame as a bitch and all that kind of stuff. Because everybody was crushing him. I just I just added that in there. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm 360. But uh, yeah, man, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually sorry to you if you actually sorry. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think it was more so about that, and then he probably was thinking about how it could look on his trucking business down the way. Somebody could be like, "Bro, you was the one that was doing all this. I don't want you to truck for me." <laughs> and he probably was like, "Oh man, I, I, man, you know, bro, bro, you know, bro, I, I just didn't, I didn't mean to do it, bro. Like, bro, my Evo people and my black people, bro. Like, you know. So, I don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna really, really give it to him right there, man. As far as the apology, man, I'm gonna probably give it a grade of a C minus, and I'm talking like a 72 C minus. So, 70 is a D. Under that is an F." 
seven, what's the uh, what's that seventy one to seventy nine is a C, so he 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 C minus in these streets, man. I gotta I gotta give him that, man. What'd you grade his apology? What did you think of it? Uh, first, like I said, it is it did take a little bit of balls to get on the on the podcast anyway or, or whatever and, and do it, but eventually he started to water that thing down and he kept the apology. It was really just meant for you to apologize to her and everything. And I feel like he would have been better had he said something along the lines of, yeah, man, uh, the way that these fresh and fit guys had you out here looking at women is not the way. It doesn't always have to be us against the women. And I don't know. It could have been something like that. It didn't have to be like, uh, yeah, man, I'm my black people, my evil people, I'm breaking them down. And then you start speaking a language and everything. I was like, yeah, bro, we, we're impressed that you know the language. I guess that's cool. And we know you got your degrees and all this kind of stuff. And you keep your hair cut and stuff. But what are we really saying, bro? Apologize to her. Keep it moving, bro. That's all you needed. And then I guess you talk to the guys and talk about what your train of thought was and everything like that. Don't be making excuses. And don't be trying to drag other people in there to help your apology out. So, I mean, I would I would go ahead and give it to him and say that it's because he's a young guy, but it's like, bro, you're 24. You're not you're not 20. You're 24. You've had enough time to do a little bit of development. Even at 21, 22, I still have enough wherewithal to know, yeah, this is not how you apologize. It's not really sincere. It was kind of like one of them things where you're talking to somebody and they kind of They've kind of got the one up on you. It's like you don't really respect them, but it's like you have to. So you do it. You do whatever it is that you have to do in a passive, a passive aggressive way to like to I guess to acquiesce to the situation. But it's like you still don't really care for them and stuff like that. It's like that. But uh, that's it right there, man. I want to know what y'all think about the video. What y'all think about his apology? Um, are you in agreement with me? Do you think that I should just lay off the kid? I never, I'm not really on the kid, but do you think that? He did a good job, and that's that. Or uh, you think he got some learning to do. But uh, yeah, man, y'all have a great day. Go out here and get it, and I'll see y'all next time.